Okay. <clears throat> so, what are the differences between seedlings and pawpaw cultivars? Cultivars are basically clones of an original tree that has desirable qualities like good flavor, low seed weight, high production, and they take pieces of the tree and graft it onto a new rootstock, an understock of some sort, and this clones the material. Um, and you can do this indefinitely in some cases. I, I know the Muscat of Alexandria grape is over 2,000 years old via this particular propagation method. Now, like most fruit trees, pawpaws do not come true to type from seed um, because they are propagated by crossing. They produce variability in offspring. Um, however, pawpaws have decent heritability, unlike apples, unlike pears, which are all over the place when you start them from seed. Pawpaws tend to be more like their parents. They're more homozygous than most fruits. So this is to our benefit when you're planting a pawpaw seedling. Now, having eaten wild pawpaws in the majority of the fruits range from South Carolina to Tennessee to Kentucky, West Virginia, Virginia, I've eaten a lot of wild fruit and they are quite variable. So you'll have big, plump, delicious fruits that can be chance seedlings or you'll get the small seedy ones that taste like kerosene and anything in between. Um, I would say maybe one in ten, one in eight uh, chance seedlings in the wild are worthwhile uh, for eating. Um, that's not a very high number um, and for that reason I recommend cultivars or seedlings thereof. Now there are some growers who swear by planting seedlings of cultivars and there are some people who swear by planting uh, the cultivars themselves um, and these are different types of orchard people who do different methods to each their own, you know. Um, but I uh, personally prefer to grow cultivars because you know exactly what you're getting. Um, I've grown a few out from seed and indeed they are very similar to their parents. Uh, so I will recommend that you if you cannot afford the cultivars, because they are very expensive these days, that you acquire some seeds of cultivars and, and grow them from seed. They take about seven years to, to flower and fruit from seed, and, and you'll get something that is comparable to a cultivar, although not quite exactly like its parents. So if you're going to plant seedlings, what I recommend is getting crosses of known cultivars. Now, the fruit size is one of the more heritable characteristics, so if you get a large fruit and a large fruit, cross them, have seeds, plant them, and they grow, they will have their, their own large fruits comparable to their parents, and that is a very desirable quality in pawpaw. Now, if you don't care about the fruit quality as much, you can plant whatever you want, um, and that will give you a beautiful looking tree uh, that is very ornamental. Um, but for fruit quality, you definitely want to choose ones that are known uh, to make good fruit.